Hello again, welcome to a daily run. It's Lilith. We have a good track record with Lilith. Uh, my All my previous Lilith runs have turned out really well. So let's keep that going. Uh, why is this? I don't know. When I first did a Lilith run, it was so hard that I died on like the caves one or two. I think I recorded that and put it up. So you all have seen it. Uh, but I... Uh, <laughs> I've just come from a Blue Baby run where I beat Mega Satan, and you know how I feel about Blue Baby, so you can imagine how a Blue Baby Mega Satan run was. It was powerful. Uh, we had the Soul. I did anyway. It wasn't really a Wii thing because I wasn't recording it. It wasn't for you. It was for me. It was personal pleasure. Um, sorry. Carried away. The point is, I had the Soul. The Soul is great. The Soul causes many... Uh, shots to be deflected away from you. Enemy shots get deflected away from you. Which is basically a complete hard counter to Mega Satan in every way. But it meant that I felt that I was better at dodging than I actually am. Uh, we're fighting Ragman right now and we picked up Midas Touch. Let's talk about the actual run we're doing now instead of the run that I did that you didn't see. Um, Midas Touch will do damage to enemies when you touch them. It will turn into gold because Midas Touch. But the damage that it does is based on the amount of money that you have. Which is none. <laughs> I, I assume there is a base amount of damage that it will do. Uh, I won't swear to it. Don't uh, don't um, quote me on that. But it does turn them to gold. And if you kill them whilst they're in gold, they will turn into coins. So it does sort of... Uh, it, it snowballs, if you get it right. I'm having real trouble with Ragman here. But I think the, the key here is to take this slowly. Uh, probably should have tried to get a charge up on on my box of friends there, but it's a four room charge. I'm not sure we would have had four rooms to get the charge. I used it earlier simply because I wanted to not take damage on the room that I used it on. And honestly, I think the room that I used it on would possibly have got me hit twice. Um, I've not had much practice with Lilith, and uh, I've just come from that blue baby run where we are stupidly powerful, so... Oh, two minutes, we should go. Uh, so, oh, I, I've forgotten how to be weak. I've forgotten how to do the <laughs> the early game, basically. Which is a real thing. It's like uh, highway blindness, or whatever you call it, where... This, this is what Northern Line keeps saying, so I'm going to say it too, because I don't have my own content. Uh, you come off motorway, from 70 down to 30, and suddenly everything feels really, really slow. And you've forgotten how to drive at a sensible speed. It's kind of like that. It's a very good analogy, so I'm repeating it here. Uh, faithfully reproduced for an English audience. Oh, careful. Wow, I'm very surprised I didn't get hit there. I find that um, many people have a issue with Lilith's, the fact that the shots are behind you. I don't seem to have that problem. Um, I'm not, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, it just kind of seems... Maybe it's my superpower that I can cope with the fact that the tears are coming from a thing that's not what I'm dodging with. Ooh, no. We don't need to do that, because looking at the left there, we do have a what looks like a Polaroid, but could be a negative. Uh, which means that we're going to be going as far as we possibly can, except the only further we could ever go is the Mega Satan fight. But uh, if you're not doing Mega Satan on the, room, on the run, you're not doing Mega Satan at all. So what just happened there, in case you were interested... We haven't found a single key, which is even more interesting. Or a bomb. Uh, what happened there was that I got hit, caused the thing that hit me to turn into gold, and then my black heart popped. Wow, that was, that was really, really bad. Uh, my black heart popped, did damage to everything in the room, which killed the thing that turned into gold, gave me three cents, which is great, but what I really need is keys. And honestly, unless we missed a key in the room that we didn't... Um, explore on the previous floor I can't see any way of getting the keys in on this floor now there's a small chance that uh, that little horn here will give us something that gives us bombs but uh, it's only a small chance so I wouldn't hold out any hope we do have a deal with the devil actually that's really good pentagram is an excellent damage upgrade and rotten baby is a great thingy it's just a great help unfortunately still no bombs but I'm not gonna sweat it down to the next floor I wonder what that item was. Reddit should tell us. Uh, if you're interested, that is not a door, so I cannot go through it. Try as I might. Rotten Baby is going to produce a fly. <coughs> it's 
excuse me. As long as they're firing, I fly every two seconds. Uh, but up to a maximum of one fly on the screen at a time. That didn't hit me. I called bullshit. Okay, it hit me. It obviously hit me. I took damage. Still called bullshit. Uh, I'll call bullshit on this room too. So Rotten Baby's flies are just an excellent sort of DPS upgrade. They're very passive. They have to aggro for a start. Uh, it's, it can be kind of difficult to get flies to aggro. But when they do, they do a lot of damage. And that extra lot of damage is basically taking out each of these enemies in one shot. So, Rob Baby is a good pickup, but it has left us a little bit uh, under the weather, shall we say. We haven't got so many hearts as we'd like. Took red heart damage. Not great. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh basically. Haven't found a single consumable at all on this entire run, except for the three coins that dropped because I got hit. Uh, not quite true. That is obviously a battery charge there. It counts as a consumable, I guess. We don't have any bombs, we don't have any keys, we don't have the lifeblood of the Isaac runs. Which is a problem. Can't get into the item rooms, we can't get into the shops. There's no point having money if you can't spend it. Still no thing. Maybe that's the challenge of this run, no drops. It can't be. You can't have no HP on an entire run. You can't expect Dry Baby to get... The Ghost Baby... Ghost Baby. Rotten baby to carry me the entire way. Surely. It can be done. Rotten baby is a really good carry. Ah, there's a bomb. What can that get us? I will check for a secret room. Very lucky that it was there because it was the only consumable we've ever got. But the secret room contained keys. Keys are amazing. It gets us triple shot, which is going to slow our rate of fire down considerably. Could be a problem. Uh, I was going to go back to the shop just now, but actually, I, I rethought it. And the reason I rethought it was that it seems like if we go to the shop with three cents, and only three cents, we will waste a key and get no items. There is a tiny chance there is a spirit heart in there for three cents. But I'm not going to run that risk. Now we have to beat this boss without getting hit. What do you think, gang? This could be a short run. I'm going to shoot these fires in the hopes of a spirit heart. I'll tell you what. I'm going to backtrack somewhat, but I think it's worth it. I'm going to pick up the Eternal Heart that exists down here. The reason I'm going to pick it up is that it will give us an extra hit if we need it. If we don't need it, then we can do this boss without getting hit and we'll get an XP upgrade on the next floor. But if we can't do this boss without getting hit once, uh, then we should definitely have the protection I'm going to check for a, a tinted rock or something. No rocks! What is this challenge run? I know it's a daily challenge run, not just a daily run, but Christ, this is not a challenge. This is torture. This is banned by the Geneva Convention. It's Chad. Chad should be doable, provided we don't get hit by these very annoying ads that shoot in diagonals. If that could go away, that would be tremendous. Right, let's get rid of that and that. We have now got two, two rotten babies. Two incubuses. We did do it without getting hit, which... And uh, Lil Chad is going to give us kisses, which means it's going to give us HP. We probably could have done that mob trap room, but honestly, I want to get out. <laughs> I want out. That was nice. We're doing a decent amount of damage, it would seem. That's probably a secret room there. So if we can get two bombs, we can go into the curse room for free, which could... Stress could uh, be extremely advantageous. Could also be a pile of shit. So that's why I want to spend bombs on it and not my glorious, precious HP, of which we have but two. Um, we seem to have little Chad obscuring our Incubus. Rest assured the Incubus is there. And little Chad is going to be doing his work too. But little Chad's work uh, is to drop red HP. Uh, and if we do everything right, which is unlikely, but, you know, theoretically possible, we won't need any red HP. That's the goal. There's some now. More consumables. Things have actually started to happen, which is nice. Uh, Spoonbender is probably going to be stupendously good. If we get Brimstone... <gasps> they're calling it, okay? I'm saying it now. I haven't watched anyone play this, but if we get Brimstone, we're going to have triple shot Brimstone... Brimstone that is homing. 
So it's going to take absolutely forever to charge up, but when it does, it's going to be devastating to the entire floor. Uh, so, fingers crossed for Brimstone, I guess. No Tinted Rocks. Any protection from my <laughs> red HP would be really, really helpful. I can't go up. I can't go on like this. I can only not take damage for so long. Yeah, doing really well, actually. Um, not to jinx it, which happens all the time. Oh, I'm really good at this game. I haven't taken damage for an entire N floors. Oh, shit. I just got hit in the most stupid way possible. Right? So, you know, I'm, I'm lampshading that so that it doesn't actually come to pass. Fuck me. Give me a goddamn spirit heart or something. Balls of steel. Anything. We should test for the existence. Man, ask and you shall receive, right? Of the secret room in the position where I predicted a secret room would be. Oh. Take that. Which was over here. We're very slow. Uh, I'm going to suggest that boss rush is not something that we need to aim for right now. It's important to do boss rush on such a run. But, I think it's more important that we don't die. So I'm going to say, screw boss rush. If we get to it, brilliant. Uh, why did I even come this way? I could have told you this was a dead end. If we don't get to boss rush, that's okay. So I'm suggesting now that we're not going to manage it. So that you don't get upset, I don't get upset. But when we don't make it, we don't make it. Whew. It also gives us the opportunity to actually get to Hush, which is more points, more valuable. Ah, this is excellent. Look, look where we ended up. I got into the curse room. There is a contract from below. If I go out and come back in, do I get two chests? No. And I don't want that. That's okay. Contract from below is great, especially on the daily. Um, on a non-daily, it is valuable to some extent. Uh, I guess it's valuable to the extent that... If you need things, like to get into the item room, etc., contract from below can really help. On the daily, it's just all your points are right there, waiting for you, in contract from below. Every single point that you would have got from any consumable is doubled, more so if that consumable was a chest. So there's our boss, so we'll pick up the batteries. I used the box of friends there. Just because there was batteries just behind us, meaning we could, you know, get the, get the charge back ASAP. For this particular boss, who is a douchebag, I'm going to keep moving. Uh, and well, when it's not doing stuff, I think the best bet for Mega Fatty here is just keep moving. If it does a jump attack, you're basically halfway to solving that problem. Not Krampus. Not Krampus. Hmm. I'm only going to take one of these because our HP is a problem, and it's going to be Fear Shot. Now, I've said before that I quite like uh, 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 Demon Baby, which I do. Don't get me wrong. Demon Baby is nice. Uh, but it doesn't... It only helps when we have, like, two of them, or a lot of them. It's going to help on boss rush, blah, blah, blah. But it's not really... It's not really a day-to-day -day item. Especially not when it's at the back of a big queue of familiars like we already have. So I think that the the damage and fear effect from Fear Shot is a better upgrade. Man, having to aim with where Incubus isn't. <laughs> I'm aiming with little Chad at the moment, and I've kind of got to remember that. Ooh, I nearly got hit by that, and miraculously, it did not come to pass. I could have used Box of Friends here. I didn't. Ask me why. Don't ask me why. Let's do this room. It shouldn't last too long. Might as well use this. Get it over even quicker. The uh, the triple shot, which we took a long time ago, does slow our rate of fire down by approximately a consummate amount. I.e. a third. Well, just say a third, man. Stop trying to use flowery language. Jesus. I know my audience. I know they appreciate the vocabulary. Appreciate the uh, attention to detail. Uh, so... That's often a consideration when taking it. I still really like triple shot. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> and when we have... Oh, that actually hit me because I tried to dodge in an awkward way. That's uh, my fault. I take full responsibility for that. It's okay. I haven't been hit too much, which is nice. Um, Judas' Shadow. Interesting. Okay. 
Let's talk about triple shot. When you've got something like Judas, uh, Judas, Lilith, and her box of friends thing going on, triple shot's great. Because when you can double the thing that's shooting, you still double your rate of fire. At least you double your DPS on that room. And therefore triple shot, plus, uh, plus homing tears, of course, can be very valuable. Uh, it's green. Hello, green. If you can't, you really need to get a tears upgrade to Im improve your lot in life as a result of that. Uh, here's a tears upgrade right now, the cancer trinket. Not to be confused with the cancer item, I believe. Doubles your rate of fire, but it doesn't seem to have done so. Do you think? Can't tell. I feel like we should be shooting faster anyway. Because we have the cancer trinket. Let's, uh, let's try and aim for boss rush. I know I said we were unlikely to get it. That doesn't mean we shouldn't aim for it. Uh, and meanwhile, we'll have a brief discussion about the fact that we just got steam sail from a greed fight, which can help us out. Uh, that was really stupid. Let's talk about how stupid this damage is I'm doing. Taking. No. Steam sail could be useful for us. We do have a lot of money, and we got even more from the greed fight. Man, this fucking died. If we can get two steam sails, by the way, everything's free. We should also talk about the fact that we got... Judas's Shadow. Judas's Shadow allows us to come back to life with a huge damage upgrade. What an earth hit me just now. I'm misrepresenting in my brain where the shots are. That's what's happening. Okay. Let's uh, recalibrate. Recalibrate thy brain. You fool. So we need to find a constructive way of killing ourselves so that we can come back as Dark Judas and be doing incredible damage. Now, points to consider... If we come back as Dark Judas, we are not Lilith anymore. If we're not Lilith anymore, we do not have Incubus. But we will have the other two familiars. So that goes some way to reducing the value of Box of Friends. Luckily, we have other box, other friends to embox them. But when we, uh, yeah, when we come back as Lilith, well, here's an opportunity. See if we can just, uh, excuse me, give this thing all our HP, I guess. You notice this? Vespid. There we go. Come with the outside. as Dark Judas. Right, with Dark Judas now. I was talking about the value or not value of doing that. And then I went ahead and did it. You know, that's one of those things where you, you pretend that you're having a committee meeting about whether it should be done or not, and then you sort of ignore what the committee says and do it anyway. Uh, I did ignore the committee. We have lost a lot of the benefit of being Lilith because we don't get the opportunity to double our Incubus, which was our primary source of damage. Incubus was the tears that we had. Literally. So when we doubled it, we doubled our, our everything, basically. Careful. We can't do that. So when we use our box of friends now, we only double little Chad, and that looks like dry, uh, Rotten Baby is actually there behind little Chad. <laughs> but the other thing you need to consider when doing the Dark Judas death thingy is that um, you only come back with two HP, and they're black hearts. Uh, tears down is not something I want to of. Not when I've got triple shot. So, oh god, so slow. <laughs> Ow, there was a spider there that I literally didn't see because it was black on black. That fucker, you saw it, fucking turned around. Oh, we still have Cambian Conception though, that's interesting. So now we need uh, something awesome, like HP. I mean, Purity Aura stat boost is decent. Um, the aura that you have around you determines or indicates which stat is being boosted. Uh, but we need health, and we need health now. We're basically normal Judas, except we can't have red HP. That's not, <laughs> not very helpful. Uh, this is pretty cool. I like lost contact. <laughs> so we need to make up for the fact we killed ourselves and came back as, as Dark Judas, basically. The fact that we can one-shot literally every enemy at the moment is very strong indeed. We have got Steam Sail. We could blank card Strength, which could be very useful for us. So I think we're going to do that. I'll take blank card. It's only seven cents because we've got the Steam Sail, remember? Um, but blank card strength allows us to get a red HP every so often, which is extremely valuable. Now here's the trick for this room. You press these ones, 
And then you don't have to try and get out of here because that one gets disarmed when you push that button. There you go. Fuck this thing. So hard. There we go. So the, the damage bonus from Dark Judas is absolutely worth the fact that we had to kill ourselves to get it. But what we really need to do is not take damage, which is much easier when you're doing a lot of damage yourself. Let's use strength here because I don't want to die. <laughs> Uh, yeah, when you've got a lot of damage yourself, you just shoot everything, everything dies, everything is greatly. Uh, blank card Hagalaz, recharge Hagalaz. We did get a black card from all of that, that was very valuable. We still got a strength card. Uh, we did do everything. I suddenly had a, a horrible feeling that we hadn't finished this floor. But we are going to make boss rush, which is really cool. And we can use blank card strength in boss rush. Unfortunately, we don't get to do the Lilith thing of having a shitload of things following us around. Which is very cool in Boss Rush. Uh, shit. <laughs> don't, don't die. Um, wow, check this out. Sweet. We got, uh, we got HP up. Last time we had a slow rate of fire and... Yeah. Um, high damage as Judas. We got pretty much fucked. <laughs> On boss rush. So uh, I'm strongly anticipating not being able to beat boss rush right now. Uh, that being said, I'm not just going to say, oh shit, I suck at this game, never mind boss rush, right? Let's uh, give it our best shot. We have got Rotten Baby, which is going to be producing all these flies, so we've got a strong source of essentially passive damage that applies to anything that is in range of us. The fear shot, ooh. Can actually be worse than it is decent. Yes, strength stacks the HP. Oh shit, and the damage, I think. That's amazing. Right, so we can use the strength card as often as we like, but do bear in mind, I think we will lose all the HP uh, when we leave the room that we gained from the strength card. So we have to be extremely careful to have something left at the end. And we came in with zero red HP. Remember that? So, what else is on this room, please? It's underground, isn't it? Oh shit, I got hit. What the fuck? Yeah, it is underground. It's that fucking polyfucking femus. Cephalus, polycephalus. Hmm. We're not down with this at all. We're also absolutely giant right now. <laughs> Look how big we are. Oh, that's amazing. Jumping enemies that are feared are probably the worst things in the world. Just uh, putting that out there. Because you don't know where they're going to go. Their, um, their jumps are unpredictable at best. Oh god. And you'll notice a uh, uh, fucking Monstro 2 over there is just randomly firing. Because that's fun. That's what we need Monstro 2 to be doing, is randomly doing a beam attack every so often. Okay, we're still in it. We've still got three Spirit Heart HP. Hello? I don't know where you're going to be. <laughs> and homing shots and Dingle got no chance. And uh, of course we got Lost Contact, which will cause our tears to pop and disperse an enemy tier. Which is really fucking useful, but can be very extremely dangerous as well. <laughs> Let's get even bigger, sure. I don't know whether we're actually getting more strength out, like more literal strength out of this, but we are absolutely humongous, so that's kind of fun. I, like, I don't know whether we're doing more damage, is what I'm saying. Uh, what's over there? I don't know. So our shots will pop enemy shots, which is great. It means we don't have to worry too much about things that are shooting at us directly, but... That being said, things that are shooting at us indirectly is going to be really difficult to deal with, and beam attacks, like such as the angels will do, uh, are not going to be blocked at all. Look, we're doing okay. Our rate of fire is extremely slow, and there's probably an underground enemy. It's only pin. We've already dealt with the frail, which is probably the harder of those, just because of the, the brimstone attacks that it does. Uh, get rid of this as soon as possible, please. I think this is another enemy that can be extremely difficult when feared because you don't know where it's going to shoot. Uh, I don't know what I got hit by. I think it might have been a spider. Come on, we can do this. There's only a few rounds left, I believe. You have to be very careful of war just now. Yeah, there he is. Watch out, war. 
Watch out, me for war, I suppose. Yeah, screw you, war. Get fucked. If the, if the leech would like to do any damage to anything at all, I'll probably be mildly grateful to some extent. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sing its praises and build a monument to it or anything, but. If it could have any effect on my game at all, that'd be valuable, I guess. Uh, fuck. <laughs> really hate the Mask of Infamy because it's so difficult to actually hit. Especially when we've got such a low shot speed. But we got rid of it, so. I guess, uh, shut up. Me. <laughs> what? I really need to stop taking damage I can't afford to anymore. <laughs> this is probably it. This is the uh, maximum amount of damage I can afford to take. There's Chub. Chad's already dead. I was hoping that just firing blindly into the ether would, of course, Chad to cop it pretty quickly. Please, can we be ended? Let this be it. <laughs> oh god, that one's made red poop. So now I'm gonna hit by that as well. Good. Somehow, we managed to get through the Carrion Queen fight, and we did get the Scapula. Which will at least give us uh, some Spirit Hearts when we... Yeah, look at that. We've gone tiny, and we've got no red HP left. <laughs> oh dear. Scapula will give you a Spirit Heart when you get down to half a heart. But only once on on the room. So it's a it's very good defensive item. But if the room itself is proving to be difficult, eh, not that great. Like you, you get one shot on the room, is what I'm saying. Man, I really need to not take damage against these red poops. Really need to pay attention for spirit hearts as well, if entirely possible. So, uh, tinted drops, I suppose. With the view to getting spirit hearts, so I'm not entirely talking rubbish there. Just mostly. That room went well. Look, little Chad, I really appreciate the effort that you're putting in. Oh, Abel. Sorry. I appreciate it, little Chad, but, um,. I don't really need what you're selling. <laughs> also, we don't need that. Again, we're going all the way. Uh, the the run is preordained to get as far as it possibly can. We don't need to do any ooh, any shenanigans with self-sacrifice. Which is kind of nice not to have to think about it, to be honest. Did a lot of min-maxing to get the self-sacrifice done yesterday, and what happened? And, ooh, Black Card Joker. Use it. Nothing great, apart from only Guppy's tail. Good. Uh, not much likeliness hood of us getting the Guppy transformation, I have to imagine. The reason for um, me saying that is that we've only got one Guppy item at all. Uh, the reason I used... <laughs> I realised that I, I used the Joker card and then didn't recharge my blank card. I I I, <laughs> I used it because I th yeah there is a battery charge yeah nothing in it okay whatever just play just play the game beat beat bush bush beat bush beat about the bush tinted drops should be easier to see on this floor than on the previous floor uh, Gerda Junior is a uh, kind of shit but when it's feared it doesn't do anything so kill it. Good. There's a bit of a pro tip there. If Gurdy Jr. has the fear effect, it will not move at all. It will edge forwards tentatively. Hagalaz, just break everything. Probably could have blank carded that, but I don't care. We need to collect keys if we're going to go to and do the hush fight. I, I kind of forgot and squandered my keys to a large extent. Which is a problem. Uh, because I need them. But now I don't have any. So we need to think about collecting keys somehow. Uh, but, of course, that relies on them dropping. Yep, two at a time. As noted, contract from below, which we got from that secret room that we bombed our way into some time ago, can really help you out of a pickle and a jam. A jam pickle. Keys. Thank you. Keys. I mean, four keys is enough. It's not ideal. But we don't need to open the chests so much as we need to open the item rooms. So as long as we can get the two item rooms from the hush lobby. Yeah, don't open those. I know, it's tempting. Just step away. Put put the keys down. Move away from the golden chests. I, I found out what Black Feather does. Black Feather gives you a 0.2 damage upgrade for every evil item that you have. Now, I believe that that 
basically means our one evil item at the moment is the ceremonial robes. Oh my god. Fucking cricket's head. Totally worth it. Um, yeah, ceremonial robes. It's the only item that we have that counts, so that's a tiny damage upgrade for us. We pick up more, of course. More damage, but I think the uh, rate of fire upgrade from the cancer trinket is extremely valuable for us, because if we didn't have it, we'd probably be firing extremely slowly, and you would not believe how far slowly we can fire when we have triple shot. Very much would like... Tears upgrade. What's this? I cruise this. Hmm. Probably could have used that on this room, but never mind. We're done. Uh, we need to go a little bit faster. That's yeah, that sort of speed. <laughs> That's what I'm aiming at. Excuse me. No, thank you. You, pop up. No. Because uh, we need to get to hush. <laughs> we need to actually be in the hush fight after 30 minutes if we're going to. Uh, well, before 30 minutes, if we're going to do it at all, which we are. Don't mind. Spirit Heart is great, let's leave before that explodes and we're here. That is very certainly a secret room. Excuse me, I was pretty sure that I was... I was attacking you just now. Hello? Good. The flies, by the way, that we've had all game are only getting stronger. Simply thanks to the fact that it scales with our damage. It does two times our tier damage. Use fly. So... If we can get into aggro stuff like that, thank you. We should be through this plenty of time. Plenty of time indeed. If I can get any tears through, to be honest, all the flies are doing all our damage just now. Did get a deal with the devil. It is succubus. I think it's worth it. Now here's the thing. Uh, the strength card, which gives you a red HP, can be used to take a deal with the devil for HP instead of spirit hearts. However, I used it on the mom fight and didn't get an alternative. This is going to be great. You're going to see what these do as well. So, I'm going to pick up the Polaroid. I'm going to take Ice Shot. So, uh, yes, we couldn't scum that deal with the devil, which is unfortunate. I'll take this as well. Uh, let's open this one. Shit. That's fine. If we do this, and then this, we will find that our body is now running around independently of our head, and we can fly. Our body can't take damage, but will do a lot of damage to everything that it touches. Well, wow. don't take... <laughs> don't get hit too much. You know what I'm like for the hush fight, it's true. This is going to be fun. This is good. Our actual tears will be breaking on Hush's tears a lot more than they're going to be hitting Hush. But as long as we're firing... There will be flies. Let there be flies. Apparently fearing hush has no effect, but also our body is probably hanging out in there somewhere. Oh no, it's following us around. We need to get close enough to hush that our body aggroes it. There we go. So now we've got a constant stream of damage, at least until hush disappears. And... Yeah, there we go. Re-aggro, re please. Aggro, please. There we go. Uh, we've got succubus bouncing around doing the occasional amount of damage. We've got flies constantly getting in there, sorting everything out. So, yeah, the, 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 that was the shears. Pinking shears is the name of that item. It chops your head off, and then your body runs around and does a shitload of damage and owns everything for you. Meanwhile, you just chill out, do what the fuck you want. It's cool. Trying to get it to aggro again. There we go. See our body standing in the middle there. It looks like Headless Baby. Uh, that's uh, some cheap reuse of graphics, Edmund. Nah, oh, nah, I'm just kidding, man. Kidding. Chill. Every time you see that hearts thing on our body, that means that the leech <laughs> has provided us some life steal. Unfortunately, we have no life. Uh, which is why we're playing The Binding of Isaac on YouTube. <laughs> I'm making amazingly fun jokes. Succubus here is going to bounce around and just kill the shit out of everything for us. We've got... As long as we keep holding down the fire button, we will keep making flies, and that's the important thing. I... That's the first time I got hit, and you can tell, because suddenly everything is slow. So I think I did pretty well to get not hit until that point. Get not hit. That's the thing that I got. Wow. 
Everything's stopped. That's crazy. That's uh, it's my native language. I don't think we have an orbital, so having invincibility doesn't really assist us in any respect. I'd like you to stop disappearing. So yeah, thank you. I can see the amount of damage that our body does is non-negligible indeed. As is the amount of damage that the flies do. I think we're probably safe if we just stand here. Hmm. I'm just hoping it doesn't have time to uh, yeah, do exactly that. Thanks for fucking doing it anyway, you bastard. Succubus getting in some damage there. That's really helpful indeed. I'd like to be able to break those nubs uh, before they can do too much damage to me. Is he underground? He's not underground, but... Flies did the... Flies finished the deed. We didn't get hit too much then, so I'm happy with that. Um, do I keep the pinking shears? I think yes, because we have to go and beat... Blue Baby. It's going to be really helpful on the Blue Baby fight, you could not believe. <laughs> I love how the, uh, the, the the music there was slowed down because I was slowed at the end of the hush fight. Ooh, don't get hit. That would be silly. Uh, your contract from below is actually going to... That was really stupid. It's actually going to double chest drops on the, on the chest as well. Uh, which now occurs to me is going to be a problem if they're golden chests because we can't open the fucking things. Excuse me? What the hell hit me just now? Look. I've taken more damage on this floor than I took on the hush fight. But I, I don't know what hit me, so I'm just going to chalk that one up to experience. I think every floor gets one bullshit. Uh, I think that was that. Daddy Long Laser's bullshit just by default, to be honest. Two of Daddy that. Uh, yeah, we'll just go. I know that by rights we should be trying to min-max and get as much exploration bonus as we can, but I've started to flag a little bit, I think. It's been a, it's been a long run. You know, it's been a long day. We've, we've all had some, we've had some fun, but we're all getting a little bit tired. Look, what is this? I'm walking into the shops. <laughs> That's what's happening there. Truth, and I couldn't even do the mob trap room because we didn't have any keys. It's going to be a problem. Actually, now I think about it, we haven't got any keys, so we can't open any of those. So keys have to either dr either keys have to drop, or we have to find chests that do not require keys. Iron chests, or whatever they're supposed to be made of. Uh, that's neither. But thanks for trying. We do have the strength card as an emergency sort of help. I want to get out of this room, play, but. Remember that if we use a strength card, the HP that we get does not stay with us when we leave the room. So we have to be really sure that we need it for the damage, <laughs> rather than for the HP. Because if we use it for the HP, we ain't making it through. So we can use it on the blue baby fight, you know, without worrying at all, because we're not going to leave that room. A chest. Fucking golden chests. I'm not getting any of my items, because I didn't... I wasn't good with my keys. Careful of the creep. Wow. Okay. Oh, Jesus. This could be the end of it, I'll be honest. It's extremely easy to get royally owned by a double adversary. Although, at least the game chose to take us to the chest for once, which means we do get the opportunity to use permanent polar and invincibility and not die. Two keys. Yay. We got the scissors, which is shit. Epic Thetis, which... I don't want to take it because it's lame. Although, I guess most people haven't actually seen it, so... Oh, fuck me. That was such a fucking baller shot. We have the scapula. We can't die. Like, we can. We have to get hit twice on the room, though. Every time we get hit... We get our fucking spirit heart back. That's amazing. And there's two more. Oh, thank you. Right. We're in the game. This is it. We're doing it. I don't think our score is particularly amazing, nor is our time, for that matter. Um, I feel like there's a certain amount of how long do I have to wait between shots before I can do any damage going on here, but... Eh. Oh, we've got Dark Bum. I've taken enough damage that Dark Bum is now a thing. Which is something I was going to mention, you won't believe me, because, you know, retro, like rewriting history and all that. What stats up? Well, we've lost our permanent polar and invincibility. We might as well take the bomb bag. I was going to say, it would be great to have Dark Thumb, because we have 
little sound. Oh, I fucking walked on creep, man. What is wrong with you? Stop walking on creep. Stop making the simplest mistakes over and over again. Um, Dark Bum plus Little Chad. Remember Little Chad gives us half a red heart every so often. Dark Bum picks it up, gives us a spirit heart. Fucking, it's a match made in heaven. Or, you know, depths of hell. Kind of depends on your perspective, I suppose. Let's go back and uh, no, open up two chests that we won from in here. Ten bombs and the kidney bean, yeah. So the kidney bean or giga bean or whatever giga bean is called, mega bean. I don't want the tower. I don't want the tower. And we won a spirit heart from black black bum. Hmm. Black bum. Uh, I guess that's a Star Wars thing. Try and keep. Oh. You Fucking dick. You know what? I think these would be slightly easier if there was some way of predicting to any extent where those those fishes are going to end up going because sometimes they go like in regular patterns and sometimes they sort of bounce around and do what the fuck ever. So we see what Anti-Grab does rather than seeing what Epic Fetus does. We'll take Epic Fetus at another time but this is not that time. Anti-Grab causes them to stay in the air until you let go. Which means you can sort of especially for something like Dingle there, just plant traps and go. Brilliant. We've got Virgo, we've got Capricorn, so we've got two of the Sagittarius uh, Sagittarius items, two of the Zodiac items, two Zodiac items, which is great. I don't think having more than two does anything. I don't think Zodiac transformation, but you know, they're, they're pretty good. Capricorns and all stats upgrade, so our tier delay has gone down, I suppose. Our, our shot speed has gone up. Our fire rate has gone up, which is what I was actually thinking of. Careful there. Uh, our damage has gone up, and we got an HP from that, which is why we don't get permanent polar invincibility anymore when we get hit. However, Dark Bum is hooking us up with all the HP in the world. That does me proud. It warms my heart. That fucking shot! <laughs> I was thinking, oh no, I'm perfectly safe. I was not perfectly safe. I think the uh, the stop was actually a pretty decent pickup. Come to think of it, we still got our strength card in case we want to, you know, knock something out. Let's go. Uh, let's go back. Do this one last room. We're pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. Hmm. Because that's how England speak good. We're pretty fast now. Yeah, there's only one room left. Exploration bonus, maybe? I don't know. Was it worth it? Who can tell? That's it. The floor is over. Go through the door, please. Thank you. Secret room? Nope. Blue baby fight. And use the strength card. Oh, of course, we can uh, set up all these things to explode whenever we want them to. Say explode. Oh, I got hit. I was really trying not to, but also I wasn't trying that hard not to. Please. I don't know whether it took longer to pick it up than it would have to... than it gave us in points. Well, whatever. 440th. Good score. I like being in the top 500. I think that is a good... good target to be at. Is top 500. Top 1000 is pretty much what I expect from myself. Don't want to be sounding a little bit too up my own ass sort of thing, but... Top 1000 seems to be a consistent place I can get to. 440th is a good place. Top... Uh, Top, uh, top 500, but this was a Lilith run, don't forget, so I was expecting to be like 5th... Nah, pulling the leg. That was a good run, I enjoyed it. Having all that damage and a really slow rate of fire, it's a challenge. It really is. Let's see where we came compared to everybody else. Oh, you guys. You guys. Didn't make it through the first one. I'll be honest, Lilith is a fucking difficult character to deal with until you really get the hang of it. Which it took me a long time to do. I mean, as I said at the start of the run, you saw... <laughs> the first run I did as Lilith when it was new, I died on like the third floor. It was absolutely shocking. But, well, thank you for watching. Uh, I enjoyed my run, and I hope you enjoyed it too. And if you did, please leave a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and tell anybody who you think might enjoy it that we're here, because, you know, spreading our name, it's the name of the game. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.